Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Yesterday we were breaking the rules with the Hopium Free content as Cardano broke to new all-time highs. Overnight it touched $3 and there has been a plethora of content produced on Cardano as it hits these prices. On top of that, scammers are really coming down hard with these next price predictions and you may have seen already there have been some predictions from Charles Hoskinson himself, which in fact turned out to be a scam of around 150 bucks. So we're not trying to peddle any ridiculous targets today. What I do want to talk about is what to look for and the emotions and the psychology that might go through your mind as we approach selling targets. This has been a very popular topic. It's very highly requested on how to exit, when to exit, what do you do, all this sort of stuff when it comes to rules, what to look for. The main thing that often comes up, because we can have a ton of rules, there is no doubt an um, absolute massive amount of exit rules online and anywhere that you can find. The main thing that I've learned over the last 11 years of trying to get out of a market is emotions. You might think it's a bit wishy-washy, but it gets us time and time again. So I'll talk about that in today's video, plus look at potential price targets, something realistic. I'm not going to be blowing things up at 50 bucks or 30 bucks or $100 per ADA, and I'll talk about why. So before we get into that, make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. But when you've hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit all and activate notifications on your phone as well so you can see these videos pop up in your news feed. All right, let's begin. Price targets, what we're looking for, trying to keep it realistic and how we work within the market with our emotions because honestly, that you may have seen it already, it is absolutely massive and I'm not going to play it down. It's the most difficult part. So <clears throat> we got uh, price targets. What's going to happen next? We're at three bucks. Maybe we drop to two fifty. This this is not really the point. But if we're at three dollars now, thereabouts, for new people coming into the market and for spruikers in the cryptocurrency space, I call them spruikers because the targets have to keep increasing. We talked about this yesterday on yesterday's video. It's three bucks. If someone comes in, you want to hear something bigger. You want to hear it at ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, etc., fifty dollars. Okay. So early on. Once you get to that point of, uh, oh, sorry, early on, three, $1 sounds good. So to say it's going to go to $10, reasonably good. There's your 10x. But once you start getting up higher and the three bucks or five bucks, saying it goes to $10 doesn't sound so good anymore. And if that's where the traffic is leading uh, in terms of people watching the content and coming on, then you have to start upping the targets. So then comes the 30, 50, 70, 80 dollar uh, targets for ADA. And we've seen that with Bitcoin. We saw it in the 2017 cycle. Let's look for a $100,000 Bitcoin because we're sitting at $10,000 Bitcoin when the market started to really go crazy. And obviously it went crazy all in 2017, but when it got to 10,000, 20,000 just didn't look so good anymore. So we had to have all of these talks, <laughs> all these people uh, spruiking a $50,000 Bitcoin or a $100,000 Bitcoin and all of these reasons that came about. And although it may be true down the track, it's probably not true in the short term. So we have to keep that, keep ourselves in check. That's one of the main things when it comes to the fear and the FOMO. So if you already covered that and you understand it, let's move on to the next part. And just before I do, if you guys do have your ADA, you can safely stake your Cardano because this is decentralized. It's not on something like Binance or, or anything like that. Check out the website. The links are down below, tiacrypto.com, my new website down there. And it is a video tutorial, tutorial video on how to stake your Cardano. So that's to get your passive income. Anyone can join. You don't have to be a member of TIA. This is just the public staking pool for the channel. So if you want, you can support the channel or find yourself another pool. Just try and get some passive income on a cryptocurrency like ADA. So the threat of selling too early. We have price targets. That's what people look for because they want to know when to get out. But this is a moving living market. Like there's human beings in the market. And so this is always going to be moving. There's not one set target on when you hit 20, market tops out, that's the end. The market does not work like that at all. So we could get to $19.50 and your target was 20 and the market reverses on you. So we have to have an idea of areas that we could sell in. doesn't need to be an exact figure because the market will never get to that exact point and then reverse. So 
if it doesn't get to that exact point and it continues through, maybe your price target was around $10 because you were getting into ADA at $0.10 cents or $0.20 cents, and you had this huge price target of 10 bucks, which was 100x from, from $0.10. Cents. But you see the market continue through and goes to 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19 bucks. You have to be comfortable with that exit point. Now, the positive, the thing I like to take from altcoins in particular, cryptocurrencies, because they shoot up so hard, they come down really hard as well. And at the end of a cycle, they generally come down 80, 90, 95, sometimes 99%. And so if you miss it, and you, you exit at 10 bucks and the thing runs to $20, the FOMO is the hardest part during that period of the last ascent. And you don't want to get, you, you don't want to lose your profits on the way up. So the market can come back 90%. It just depends on where that top is. So if the top comes in at 20 bucks, possibly, probably from what I've seen in the past, we could shoot all the way back down to $2. It sounds ridiculous. I know that. I get it. But we've seen it time and time again in the market. So that's the sort of thing that I like to look for to keep my FOMO in check as we approach a top. So if we do get to that, say for Bitcoin, it was $20,000. We couldn't believe that we were going to shoot down 84% from that top and reach 3000 The same thing with Ethereum, $1,400 in January of 2018, and it fell to $80 at the low. These things happen time and time again. And yes, the cycles are changing. Yes, there is more money into the market. Yes, there is staking and there's more money taken, uh, more tokens are taken off the market to reduce the supply, which therefore means maybe we don't uh, need as much selling pressure um, or enough, uh, as much buying pressure to hold the market up. There are all these sorts of things at play and there are different reasons that were in play last time as well. So it is still possible that we lose the 80, 90, 95%, but we can continue to track that. So idea is to keep our emotions in check as the market goes up and not to lose the profits on the way up. Other ways that we can look to take profits are on swings. And that's what I like to look for when we see these reversal points. If they start to break down from support, that could be a good way to exit the market. Now, they are or well, they can be pretty far away from a current point. That's a loss of around 40% before you would exit. But these markets do swing really hard. So that's something that we have to be aware of. So there's trailing stop losses. Look for points as the market goes up. Keep your stop loss maybe 25% underneath the lows. So 25% would take, it out, take, take us back to these highs. But what you would want to do to make sure that you're not getting out too early is go back and measure some of these retracements. How far did these go? These went down 43% before they reversed. So if you had a, a buffer of somewhere beneath 43%, so you had a trailing stop, say it was at 45% or 50%, then you would be safe. So you would just be trailing this all the way up, knowing full well that you could miss this whole run and then get out somewhere back at that point as well. But the idea is to get in early on the breaks. And then if you are trailing those stops, start small, maybe 20% and then learn to get back in as well. That's just another way to exit the market with trailing stops. So we've looked at a couple of ways now, maybe there are some targets knowing that it could go on without you. There are trailing swing stops as well. And a simple way to start to be able to test it is using a percentage. So you're probably asking yourself, what are these realistic price targets? Now I covered this almost two months ago in this video right here, and I've been covering it since that point as well. Looking at uh, ADA ETH and also ADA BTC as well. So I like to keep these in check because this is an ever moving market. It's alive. It's going to keep moving. The reason being is that Bitcoin continues to move and that is going to show us different prices as Bitcoin moves. So to explain that, we have the ADA BTC chart and this goes the same for the ETH BTC chart. So in case Bitcoin doubles from this point, this could remain exactly where it is, ADA BTC and the price of ADA could double. So ADA is at around $3, that could bring it up to $6, but remain at these levels. The same goes for Ethereum. So if Ethereum doubles, ETH could remain at its current point here at 86,000, and it could potentially increase, but we'd also need to see Bitcoin increase as well to get that dollar figure increased. I know this does sound like it gets a little bit complicated, but the reason I follow these charts is as I've said here, these could be early warning signals. And that's what I did back here. And that was to get close to the tops. I'm not going to say that I always call tops, 
but these got quite simple just looking at 50%. That's all I was looking at here was that we saw a reversal at the 50% mark and that's of this entire range. So that's my early warning signs to say, Maybe the market is finding some resistance at the major range. Doesn't mean the market's over, but we saw a 50% retracement. And then I just managed to get some more ADA at these points here because it was within this zone. Now, from that video that I was looking at, that's this one here. You can see how early it was. I was looking for the market to continue down because of what we had already seen on this chart, ADA BTC, this chart, ADA ETH. And the US dollar had just sprung up, ADA USD had sprung up and we had a little bit of a correction, well, a massive correction here, but then the bounce was quite weak. So that was into uh, the early mid part of June. So that's when we started to get the fall. So price targets, I like to use these charts to have a look at if the market is coming up to re some resistance against the majors, ETH and Bitcoin, then what does that, sh where is ADA USD at that point in time? It could be at a price resistance level as well. And again, back to the videos on the channel, which happened in February when Cardano was going through the upgrades. We were looking at the Mary Hard Fork, which came on the 1st of March, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, that showed this major high come in basically to the day. So this peaked and that video, which is on the channel, is looking at selling some ADA just to take advantage of that peak. Now, you don't know what's going to happen over the next months, but that was a reasonable time, even though the market didn't happen to fall as far as I would have liked to get in earlier, but it's still not a bad point there around that, uh, well, the peak came out at $1.50. So I'm looking at those events as a selling point. I'm looking at the charts of ADA BTC and ADA ETH, and then the price ranges themselves. So to get some price targets, as well as our support and resistance, which are all points of where I would look to sell. Then I look for price ranges, repeating ranges. We've got the whole range here. Yesterday, we looked at how this repeated in just three weeks. So the from the uh, COVID low to the top in April to that bottom, repeated exactly near to the cent, uh, 100% of that range in just three weeks, which what which took 57 weeks the time before. So if, if I'm using this entire range now, the top was around 250, projecting it from the low, that gives me a price point at our 100% of $3.41, but our 1.61% at five bucks. The reason I like the $5 as well is that it's two times this current top and markets like to repeat numbers. 250 is a nice round number. Five bucks is also a nice round number. They're just some ideas of where I could start to look for some, uh, some short-term resistance, which may turn into long-term resistance. So if I couple this with ADA ETH, maybe this comes out and hits some previous all-time highs. Maybe ADA BTC also comes out and starts to hit some resistance levels at 6,500 or 8,800 Satoshis. Then all of these things are coming together for me and I like to at least take some off the table because these are resistance points and we've seen them time and time again. Should the market turn around and continue straight up, still holding some, and if we need to, we can get back in, but we just take a little bit of a, a loss on that potential gain that we could have had. But this is just how to protect yourself and reduce that risk if the market starts to become way too volatile at the tops. I wanna to focus on market psychology again because this can really play with you and lose all of those gains at the top. And I'll show you that, that in just a sec. But just to cover off this 150 BS target that the scammers had been putting out for Charles Hoskinson, which he uh, addressed in this video just in the last 24 hours, scammers are using these videos and then adding all of this sort of jargon on top of them to take your ADA. Cardano will never do that. Most of the good projects should or never do that. You see this often with Ethereum and Bitcoin as well, but this is all just a scam and to be able to turn this thing off is almost impossible. This is up to YouTube to do and you've got 4,000 people, huge likes, maybe they're scammers themselves watching, I don't know. But this is the sort of stuff that Charles is saying is not real and there is no expectation of price at all. So if you ever see those, it's all completely fake. No, nothing else you can really do apart from possibly downvote it and then move on. In this video, we haven't talked about market caps either, but I'm going to leave those for another video. We've covered it before and the idea that Cardano could do a 10x from its $3 to $30 would sit it at 
basically dead on Bitcoin's valuation right now. $92 billion, 10x, $922 billion. Possibly not in this cycle, maybe later down the track. You know, a trillion dollar company seems pretty reasonable for a technology company, but I don't see that happening in this cycle. I could be completely wrong, but again, I'm going to play it conservative and should the market peak out and then retrace, I think I could possibly see at least an 70 or an 80% uh, pullback or drawdown on these markets, which should hopefully get me in if I miss the top. So that's the way I like to play the risk, especially with these cryptos that, that are quite volatile and they, they move really high and they come down really hard as well. So the last thing, I'll, last thing I want to look at is the market psychology. Should you exit too early, look at the timeframes that we could see until we get another peak. You know, there's 11 bars from top to top here. Uh, in the past, we've also seen it run up several months. And so that is going to play on the emotions. So should you get out, try not to lose yourself, lose your mind as the market goes up and look at what we talked about yesterday with pyramiding. Don't be throwing in more than you can lose at the tops. You want to be pyramiding bigger at the bottom, less at the top. So should you feel the FOMO come back at the top because you got out too early, maybe you took profits here and you see the market run up, try not to put in more than what you already had and possibly less just to keep your money management safe. The last thing you want to do is lose all your profits to not understanding what pyramiding is and you are putting in way too much at the top and should the market go against you, then you will be quickly in a negative uh, laddering in too heavy at the tops. So just keep that in mind, especially with the emotions. And I'll talk about it in future videos as well, because this is going to be one of the biggest pieces as the market carries on. As I say, in the game of trading and investing, it's 90% emotion, 10% physically what you do in these markets. For today's sponsor, we have New Brighton Capital. So for the Aussies who want to get their superannuation into cryptocurrency, metals, or property, check out New Brighton Capital. There's a link to these guys in the description down below. $150 of free credit if you use Pazino as the referral when completing your SMSF application. So if you've got your superannuation sitting with these other host plus and things like that, earning 5% per annum minus the fees, why not give them a call? There's a 20-minute free phone consultation up here as well. Just make sure you mention Pazino to possibly get your $150, free, $150 free if you go through with the SMSF application. On that note as well, if you are with your SMSF and you're with New Brighton Capital, check out the Investor Accelerator Staking Pool or anyone else as well. If you want to get some passive income on your ADA, check that out. Link to that is down below. Um, you can stake there and get your passive income on your Cardano. All right, let's wrap that one up for today. Thank you very much, guys, for... Uh, joining me on another video and spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate your comments down below, learning from you and seeing what other uh, areas of investing and trading you guys are finding valuable. So drop down to the comments. I'll see you guys at the next video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you find some value from the content. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.